Hello everyone, this is Amber from Amber's Games, back with another video. So I was at Walmart the other day, and I saw this pack, I'm sure many of you see it at your local Walmart. I was like, you know what, I'll buy it and we can see what's in it, how good everything is. Let's get at it. Let's see, we got a Journey into Nyx booster pack, and then a Magic Origins booster pack. So those are the two booster packs. It's obviously 60... Obviously a 60 card deck. Let's see what we got. A Sapling token. So it looks like it's a green blue deck or a blue red deck. Glen Fiend. Goblin Electromancer. Is it Guild Mage? It's Electrode? We Dragon Knot? Another one? Steam Core Weird? Shrewd Hatchlight? Two of those. Ogre Servant? Glavanoth? It's a rare, so at the beginning of your upkeep, you may look at the top card of your library. If it's an assist, instant or sorcery, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. That's really nice. Is it Chrono, Chrono Arc? Jin Illuminance? This. Brainstorm? Force Spike? Magma Spray? Is Cron Scepter? Is it Signet? Call to Heal? Train of Thought, Pyromantics, two of those. Is it Charm, Reminisce, Thunderheads, Vacuum Melt, Dissipate, Quicksilver Dragger, Dagger, Prophetic Bolt, Overwhelming Intellect, Sphinx uh, Bone Wand, Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may put a charge counter on Sphinx Bone Wand. If you do, Sphinx Bone, uh, Sphinx Bone Wand deals damage equal to the number of charge counters on target creature or player. On it, to target creature or player. Street Spasm. Invoke the Fire Mind. We got Fire and Ice. Forgotten Cave. Is it Boiler Work, which those are good. Dual Land, Lonely Sandbar, Nivix Area of the Fire Mind. Got some islands and probably some mountains back here. Yep. So that deck looked interesting. Probably be a decent starter deck. And then from there, you can improve on it and make it actually good. Let's start with the older pack now the Journey into Nyx. This is a really old booster pack. So let's see if there's anything interesting in here. So we got Font of Fertility. Phyrexia's Chosen. Font of the Front Fortunes, if I can even speak. Sigild Skink. Ajani's Presence. Desecration Plague. Starfall, Cast into Darkness, Supply Line Cranes, Rise of Eagles, Basara's Tower Archer, Nyx Fleece Ram, Triton Cavalry, and it's a mythic. Let's see. Worst Fears. You control target players next. You control target player during. That player's next turn. Exile Worst Fears. That's actually really good. Only only bad thing is that it is you exile it, so you can't replay it again. A basic land, and then a spider token. Okay. Now, Magic Origins, which is older as well. It's not as old. So we got Dragon Fodder. 
yoked ox, negate, Phyrexia's disciple, or Phyrexia's disciple, shambling ghoul, calculated dismissal, rocks maulers, heavy infantry, bonded construct, pickle boar, magnetic insight, totem guide, heart beast, turn in, turn to frog, helm of the gods, it's just a bit basic here, Equipped, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment you control. Be good for, obviously, for an enchantment heavy deck. Basic Swamp and Adopt a Token. So, not bad. I'm not sure how much all that stuff's going to be worth. But it's all going to be up online on TCGplayer.com. If you like it, just message me once you make a purchase and I'll give you 10% off on your purchase. Until next time, this is Amber with Amber's Games.